Morning, everybody. Um, hopefully, this is streaming to Facebook. Um, I, oh, I didn't put my collar in. There we are. I didn't put my collar in. I'm sort of doing this as a bit of a test this morning um, to see if streaming services in this way, sort of via Zoom and on Facebook at the same time is a manageable thing to do. So um, forgive me a little uh, indulgence this morning as I try and see if this works with the morning prayer. Um, I sent out some liturgy um, on Facebook on the photos. Um, so um, hoping we might get one or two people join us in the Zoom room uh, for prayer this morning. Um, if you didn't see it, I've just posted to the pages, um, the um, liturgy for today, and um, also meeting ID and password. I hope that I need someone to join me to re verify that that is the case. But there we go. So I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. Um, before we start officially this morning with the liturgy, um, see if anyone wants to come and join me on Zoom this morning. Um, that's fine if you don't, that's absolutely fine. Um, but I just thought I'd uh, give it a bit of a go and see if it works. Um, I'm just going to click on my own video to check that that is working. It's a beautiful image of me currently on there. Never mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you want to go find the liturgy on the pages um, on the Barnabas or the Mary's um, groups um, pages, hopefully they're there. Um, and. Uh, And we'll make a start in a second. All right, meeting ID not valid. Okay, hang on. Let me have a quick look. Uh... Maybe I typed it in wrong. Uh, meeting ID. What did I put in the thing? Let me have a quick check. Oh, right. I typed it in wrong. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Uh, I'm just editing the post. Um, it should be six nine eight. Rather than six nine nine. So six nine eight one oh five six four three. Six nine eight one oh five six four three and the password is zero zero five nine eight six. Sorry, mistyped. Because I typed the post on the on the desktop. Just updated the post, so hopefully, ah, there we go. There's other virtual Graham coming to join in. And oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> there we go. Morning. Morning. Oh, and there's mother. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm going to mute everyone else apart from me. Um, 
<laughs> morning, mother. I'm going to mute you. That's fine. Morning. <laughs> right. Uh, let's, uh, if we get up the liturgy, let's make a start on morning prayer this morning. And if anyone else comes to join us, that's great. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up, that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord. And that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble. He shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me and set me high upon a rock. And now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. For you have been my helper. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God, my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries. The false witnesses have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. We say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Move on to the second uh, page of the liturgy, second picture. I put up. 
And our Bible reading this morning is from Luke chapter 22, verses 39 to 53. He came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. When he reached the place, he said to them, pray that you may not come into the time of trial. Then he withdrew from them about a stone's throw knelt down and prayed. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. Then an angel from heaven appeared to him and gave him strength. In his anguish, he praised, prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood falling down on the ground. When he got up from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping because of grief. And he said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. While he was still speaking, suddenly a crowd came and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus said to him, Judas. Is it with a kiss that you are betraying the Son of Man? When those who were around him saw what was coming, they asked, Lord, they asked rather, Lord, should we strike with the sword? Then one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple police and the elders who had come for him. Have you come out with swords and clubs as if I were a bandit? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Going to um, invite us to do the Benedictus um, responsibly. So I will do the first verse and those of you at uh, home or on Zoom um, can join with me in saying the second verse each time. So uh, odd verses I'll do on my own and even verses you can join in with. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. We say together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. What I thought I would do, if it's all right with um, Rachel and Graham and with Mum, as you're the ones that are on here, um, is un unmute you for the intercessions. And if you want to add a prayer, um, then that would be great. That's all right. Yeah, um, you do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's all right. Yeah. 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 Ooh, 
slight like suspension at this moment. <laughs> okay, it's done. Yeah. Do we pray? Lord Jesus, as we enter this holy week and as we come to read the stories once again of uh, that last week of your life, that week when so much happened, where you pointed to God and you reminded us all of his saving love for us. Thank you that we can come to you day by day and we can know that you are with us wherever we happen to be. That in the midst of our own trials, you have gone before us. You are not unacquainted with suffering and sorrow. So, Lord, we do pray today for everyone who's joining with us. Facebook, those who are joining later, all of us together. That, Lord, we would know your presence with us in the midst of our own trials and tribulations whether that be simply staying at home to keep others safe, going in to do jobs outside the home and worrying about what it is we're bringing back with us, or whether we are suffering, body, mind or spirit. Help us to know your presence with us today. Amen. Amen. Lord, we pray for families that are far apart and we pray that they will have a, the rest in you to know that you are with each member of the family, especially where there are people who are unwell and people can't visit them. Lord, we just pray for your peace and calm in that situation. And especially this morning, we pray for Boris Johnson's a new partner, Lord, expecting a baby and probably very anxious waiting for news. But we just thank you that you are with each person and that you know what will happen to them. We pray for healing and for restoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Um. Lord, we give you thanks for uh, our medical staff, both those in ICUs and emergency services, but also those in the background keeping administration going, records, etc. Pray, Lord, for wisdom encouragement, strength, hope, and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we also think of the people in government we are reminded from the reading how chaotic and how nervous people can be when they have to do a job. We think of those soldiers and the slaves of the high priest who were obviously very concerned what they were going to come up against when they met Jesus. And we pray for those who have to make big decisions in government who are also concerned about what they've got to do up against this coronavirus. Lord, we ask that you would give them wisdom, you'd give them calm, you'd give them the right data so they can make the right decisions at the right time. We also pray for media and for social media, but what is put on there is the truth, and that we don't have any more of these scares or scams that are going around, which just cause people more anxiety. And finally, for those who are anxious at home, we ask for your healing balm on them. Be with them and know that you are with them. Amen. Amen. We'll pray for those who um, don't have access to 
uh, the internet or to social media, those for whom um, the silence may be deafening at this current time. Pray for all those feeling uh, isolated and vulnerable and pray for um, each and every person ac across this world, Lord, that in this time of challenge and trial, that your name would be glorified, that we would see many turn to you as a cornerstone, a rock on which we can base our lives, where all around even the things we once relied on seem now like shifting sand. Lord, yet you remain the one true hope for this world. We pray for um, this day and the different challenges that we face. Pray for all the things that you would have us do. And we ask, Lord, that we would walk in your way. Lord, in your mercy, here now, collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race set your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers in of his resurrection through jesus christ your son our lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god now and forever amen, amen. as our savior taught us so we pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Right. Well, thank you, you guys, <laughs> for joining me. Thank you to everyone else on Facebook for joining as well. I'm sorry if you got my dad in the background part the way through when he rang up. <laughs> that's all right that's fine <laughs> i was looking to see if it was something here i was checking <laughs> i will have to bring him back and explain in a minute <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine did larry uh, send you um a, a thing i got last night rachel did you send it to rachel uh no not yet will you send make sure you do i will do i will do uh, let yeah. me just finish the facebook page and then I will um, I'll do the family you. admin. I <laughs> do the family admin, yeah. Um, so it's been great to see um, you all. I do hope you have a very blessed day and um, we will. Oh, so um, yeah, and we will see you. Um, Rachel will, will see you tomorrow, probably not in this format, but Rachel will no. see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably do the running again in the morning as well, but I'll try and perhaps print it out in advance so that people can share. I think that's a really nice idea. In the original Welsh? No. <laughs> well, it's bilingual, but... <laughs> it is both, <laughs> yeah. to join in in Welsh, folks. I don't know. It might be quite fun. Anyway, right, I'm going to stop the live stream there. So God All bless right. them. <laughs>